Hey guys, I here bringing you another video. Wow, the sounds loud. Uh, welcome to Unranked to Diamond. Yes, my uh, old series from many years ago. It's back. And the reason why I say it's back officially, and uh, obviously, yeah, this is my first game on it. So I've just kind of forgotten I need to actually do a couple of settings here or there. Um, it is back properly. The reason why is obviously for the last couple of years, we had Smurf Q. And Smurf Q kind of took away proper unranked to diamond. Um, so um, Smurf Q is now gone. It was causing too many problems than it was actually helping. So the fact that we are now no longer in Smurf Q, that doesn't exist, kind of brings back proper unranked to diamond. So just to explain a couple things, um, spell costs, um, we are going to be do oh god guys run away Ugh. again don't be afk there again educational series incoming um obviously don't be afk in a place that you can be easily killed if you have to go for some reason afk at the beginning of a game um don't stand in a position to die like stand under a tower or something of that nature um, but just to explain, this Unranked Diamond is a bit different than what we've always done. Uh, this is a Nuzlocke challenge. So taking inspiration from kind of like the Pokemon community. I also did a Nuzlocke challenge in preseason just to get a taste of what it felt like. Um, just to see if I liked the idea of doing it. Ooh, I need to change settings. Um, and this is the problem with playing on, on a new account. Um, just to mention, this account is a Riot account. What the hell? Oh, I know what... I think I know what setting it's... I need to get rid of. Oh, it's, I really don't like that. Uh, I think it's that. Okay, that's it. Oh, thank God. Alright, so yeah, Nuzlocke Challenge. Which means... If we lose a game, that champion dies in the series. But there are ways of bringing champions back. Um, so, obviously, the idea is to try and get diamond before all the champions die. Um, if we win a game, it means that we can continue playing that champion. If we lose, the champion dies for now. Now, the ways of bringing a champion back are as follows. And obviously, the first episode is going to be a bit messy because I've got to explain all the rules and everything. Um, the first way of bringing a champion back, very simple. If I get a pentakill, I can select any champion that's dead and I can just select to bring a champion back. Obviously, getting a pentakill is genuinely or generally quite rare. Um, so that's one way. Oh. Why did he do that? Um... Weber, thank you so much, dude, for the 25 months tier 2. Appreciate it massively, dude. Let's try to push this in so we can go back and try to use the advantage. So top lane's died. Bot lane, I think they're okay, but obviously... They actually got a kill in bot lane. That's nice. Rating-wise, I couldn't really see what rating we were in because the loading screen actually happened so fast. I saw, I think, a couple of golds. Um, this, by the way, is a Riot account. was given to me by Riot, so it's not a bot account or anything like that. It is a... Account given to me by Riot. Um, so thank you very much to them. The reason why they do this type of thing, like if I'm a league partner and I'm in good standing with them, I'm not toxic. Um, instead of just flooding... Don't, 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 don't. Instead of just flooding, you know, making more accounts and all that stuff, please don't give them a kill. Um, you know, it's better than them just give me an account so I don't keep having to make accounts every single year. Um, but yeah, sorry, the Nuzlocke stuff. I guess so much to explain on episode one. If I get a pentakill, I can bring any dead champion back to life. If I get a Baron Steel or Elder Dragon Steel, the champion that I'm currently playing gets an extra life. So for example, if I play Gangplank this game and I steal Baron in this, in this particular match where we play and we steal Baron then that means Gangplank's got an extra life. So if I then lose the game, even though I stole the Baron, champion, uh, Gangplank doesn't die, for example. But if, like, let's say I steal a Baron in this account, uh, sorry, if I steal a Baron on the, in this game and we win this game, it means that Gangplank has another life anyway. 
Um, and then the final rule that we've added is if I go on a three game win streak, I can bring back a random champion. So what I'll do is anytime that happens, you can just go on the internet and type in like, you know, wheel generator. So you can just like do one of those random spin wheels. I'll put all the champions that are currently dead in that wheel. Click pick random. Hello. Um, pick random champion. Gonna run. Pick random champion and then one champion will come back. Let me know what you think of the rules, by the way. Um, some people in Twitch chat think we might or should make, maybe make it a five game win streak to bring a champion back, a random champion back. Maybe it should be five. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to look for a kill. Ugh. So bot lane is getting destroyed. I'm just basically using nearly every Q. Nearly using every Q just to poke down the Fizz. Gonna try and look for another kill on him fairly soon. But he also could look for an ultimate. Mm, Dragon just got done. That's not ideal. Got an assist, which is nice. Marcy just did Dragon, which means he is in the area. Looking for Fizzle. Um. If he keeps trying to stop me, I'm just going to end up killing him. Yeah. He should have just let me go back. So that that is a, a strategy of like to actually kill this Fizz in an out and open fight. It would actually have been quite hard. But the fact that he was like really wanting to try and... What? That Lord Attack went after? Ah, are you serious? Oh, God. That's annoying. Um, The fact that he was so desperate to stop me basing is actually ultimately what got him killed. Oh, this Senna is having a rough time. So yeah, let's actually quickly look because uh, I really didn't have a lot of time to see what rating we were in. Um, it is low gold, high silver by the look of it. So pretty much fresh account. If anything, it's got like a slightly he higher MMR than I first thought it would be. But by the looks of it, nobody is a Smurf. Literally nobody. M maybe the Tristana. Maybe. But yeah, that is pretty high for what I would actually call a complete fresh account. But um, yeah, and obviously, if you are a viewer of mine or if you're new, um, hello, I'm Huzzy. I generally like to play most roles in the game. Marcy played it good. I mean, he didn't really do anything, but yeah. Um, I last season finished a master on EU West, um, mainly playing mid lane. Uh, but also I do press I, I do play uh, other roles as well. For complete fresh accounts are usually about mid silver. Um so the fact that we're in low gold is a little bit higher than I would actually expect of a fresh fresh account. Ooh. That was actually quite well played by the vein. So our late game I'd say is very nice. We've got a vein and a gangplank. Oh, that crit. <laughs> cool. Um, so one question I actually have. Question of the day. And I'm expecting... And if you're also... If you're excited about the series returning, please do like the video. Um, but a question of the day. Oh, man. Oh, I'm just being a bit camped by the Master Yi. Damn. Um, he can just right-click me to death, unfortunately. Um, but question of the day, in this series, I'm going to play like what I would call the modern picks of League. So anything that is a bit peculiar, that I would find peculiar, that's gonna that pops up in the meta, 
um, I normally, as a player, wouldn't really play. I, I, I'm kind of known for not liking a lot of like the more cheesy kind of picks. But this series, I want to try and embrace it a bit more. What picks right now? And I'll probably ask this question every now and then. What pick right now should I play that you would deem a little bit cheesy, but it's become a bit more popular? Um, let me know. You know, in recent time, we've seen like singed mid lane grow in popularity and things like that. So yeah, let me know. Um, Twitch support, people are saying in Twitch chat, and maybe. So this Amumu is high roaming. Evelyn Jungle. I mean, that isn't... Well, we will play Evelyn Jungle, but that's, that's not exactly what I mean. Oh, dude, I'm just being camped by a Master Yi. <laughs> Oh, I'm just being camped. God damn it. That was Fizz Flash and Ignite. Oh, again, this is like, it's annoying because I'm just being right click to death because that's what a Master E can do. God damn it. It's fine. Of all picks as well, we're doing fine against the Fizz, obviously, but a Fizz as a champion. Ooh. A Fizz as a champion, obviously, is quite good at just simply not dying. Oh, man. Yi was fed. He's such a basic champion. Basic champions like Yi need to exist um, because they're they're what I would call training wheel champions, but um, they're annoying. We'll be fine later though, as long as we hold on. And obviously, this game, I've been uh, quite distracted so far. This game just explaining the premise of Unranked to Diamond. So next game especially well hopefully from now on now we're getting into more mid game i can kind of focus up a little bit also just noticed i do have chat on which normally i would not have chat on so i most likely will turn that off fairly soon my kill Ooh. This goddamn ye. That's <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> it does so much damage. It did eight under damage. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Uh, when I the new Aurelian I will be playing. I don't know if I'll jump on PBE for it. I might just wait till he kind of comes out on live. So Gangplank himself recently, by the way. Uh, obviously, I do. I am aware I've not really been that educational so far in this game. It's just been a bit of a fiesta explaining everything and getting used to playing on Rex Diamond again. Obviously, I will say there is an adjustment that needs to be made when you play from Diamond One or Master MMR to an unranked Diamond. They're very different. You know, you pl you're technically playing the same game, but they are very different. Um, and, you know, the least thing that I want to do, I don't want to just blame, you know, I, that's not who I am. So I am, I'm going to actively have to get used to the differences in play. Um, and we are going to see some weird things. You know, there's no doubt we're going to see some odd play. We're going to see some play that will most likely make us laugh, and that's fine. Um... But yeah, that, that's basically, I think, as far as we'll kind of go. I don't want to make to make people feel bad. You know, the way that I've always tried to think about an unranked diamond or something of this nature is I am a guest in this rating. Um, this is not the rating I'm supposed to be in. This is I'm a guest in this rating. Nice. Um, and I should treat it as such. I got five assists. Why Essence Reaver before Mythic on GP? Because Essence Reaver is just so good on Gangplank. Uh. To be fair, I'm fine with a, a mediocre early game on Gangplank because obviously I've become an absolute beast later on in the game.
yeah, we've had a bit of attention by obviously Master and even Amumu to a certain regard this game, but it's fine. The thing that I've, I would always say, depending like how you are as a solo queue player, I trust myself more than I trust my teammates. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I'm just getting camped so hard this game. That's both of the enemy bot lane now. Oof, yeah, you go mythic item third on Gangplank now. Um, it sounds weird, but like, you know, it doesn't look like we're doing that well. We are just being insanely camped this game. But I would rather me to get camped and arguably do bad in the early game because I trust myself more recovering my match than I would trust my teammate recovering their match. Does that make sense? I know eventually if I just play well and do fine, I can recover and I'm not going to mentally go boom for getting camped. It's annoying, but I'm, I, I will be fine. We've all had those teammates that get camped like this and they just rage quit the game. I know I'm not going to do that. So I'd actually weirdly always prefer me getting camped than a teammate. It's annoying. It means I can't get mega fed in lane phase, but hopefully it actually can help us win the game. But yeah, we've had a lot of attention this match. Which I would say... I don't know. And this is the kind of crazy thing. Because we actually haven't done a proper unranked to diamond in a few years, it's it's interesting to me to see the progression in lower ratings of roaming. Because roaming is a more popular, modern way of playing the game. It's really taken over, you could say. But I wouldn't have expected lower ranking really to do that. I would have expected lower rankings just to be like, right, I'm playing bot lane, I'm staying bot lane. But you can see everyone is now roaming. Ooh, a lot of roaming is happening um so that to me is actually quite an eye-opening interesting thing so it's not just higher rating that roaming has kind of taken over my first game down in silver gold mmr roaming is straight away happening so i do find that quite interesting this is top lane That heal. Uh, she got him. Hmm. I think Senna might have got caught or something. Don't really know what we can do here because we're just uh, we are actually a little bit falling apart. The Tristana's really fed. The Master Yi's really fed. That's about it. But we just need the Senna not to do that, and we'll be okay. In essence, we just need to make it to late game. Oh my God, Malphite. Because like the Fizz is kind of ignoring lane phase. this tower we'll be all right if i i firmly believe if we just hang on and don't give up i think we'll end up winning wait he had ult My bad. Don't be honest, hit with Malphite dying, I was like, there's no way that um Okay, this is this is literally why I get rid of chat, because what that Malphite is doing doesn't benefit the win at all. Yes, technically, you could be like, oh, you dying there doesn't benefit it. True. But making doing a chat is an actual decision that you're actively making that you don't need to be doing. Just don't add negativity to chat. Wait, did I? Oh yeah, I did. Does that get rid of them? Maybe. Dun, 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 dun. I do think we can win this game. I've got... Okay, so I'm at strength now. I've got two items. So now, hopefully, there will be an increase... Oh, this Malphite. Don't be this person, man. If you're wanting to climb in rank, don't be like this Malphite. Trust me. It does not help. Oh god, I did a big crit then. That was more than I thought. Shut down. 
I just can't, man. I'm just, there's always one other person here. <laughs> this is really annoying. <laughs> man, why is it always game one of the series? It always goes a bit poop. Always happens. For years, it's always happened. Every time. <laughs> oh, God. This, I've actually been, I would say, more camp this game than I normally am on my main account. I also just to mention, uh, every game is being uploaded in this series as well. Just to mention, like, if, if you're like, oh, this so far isn't a great game, you're uploading this. Yes. The only games that I'm not uploading are games that are genuinely pointless to upload. So, like, if there's three teammates that are AFK or something like that, then it's pointless to upload. Um... So it kind of brings back the kind of my origin roots of just showing the adventure completely. Hopefully people appreciate that. Yeah, it's been hard to do anything this match with just how outnumbered we've been. Um... Hmm... Uh, Nocturne's quite fed. If we just make plays with him, I think we'll be all right. Like, I, the funny thing is I actually know I'm quite strong at the moment. But I, well, I eventually Gangplank gets strong enough to pretty much take multiple enemies on at a time. I don't think I'm there yet. That's not bad. Honestly, I think we could have properly won that fight, but people kind of ran away. But we're going to kill him. There you go. We killed four of the enemy team. That's fine. We are start. It's it's starting. It's starting. We're getting there, lads. We're getting there. And I'll always happily take a four for one trade. I don't know what my team ran away. I'm going to be honest. I think I could have maybe even survived then. Um, but whatever. It's fine. I'm going to try the new Aurelian eventually. I don't know if I'll play him on PBE, but when he comes to live, we'll give him a go. Hey, Lauren. 17 months tier one says, how do you make a Velkos laugh? 10 tickles. Oof. Evane got caught in mid by herself. Not really sure why she's there. Nice bang. Do, 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 do. Dude, she's so fed. That was a bit random. I don't even know if she meant to do that. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know if Tristana knew I was there. <laughs> Oh, God. We need to work together. If we work together, I think we're fine. Individually, the Tristana is very strong. Yeah, her build is a bit funky. She doesn't actually have Infinity Edge or Navori yet. So that Tristana is going to get stronger. You can fight that. Guys... You genuinely can fight that. Oh, that Malphite ult. It should be fine, yeah, because they actually kill. All right, this is all right. And then to, to Dragon. Marcy might be on it. Is he on it? No, okay. He might be hiding somewhere then, like in this bush or something. Enemy team have seemingly been quite on it with Dragon, so I wouldn't have guessed he'd want to give this up. They are. Okay, cool. I think we'll be okay. Because I wasn't even, in, even involved in that fight and it went well. Hmm. Yak show. Didn't get that kill. <laughs> Why? No shutdown on Gangaplanku. 
The good news is I actually am quite strong, so we should be fine. I remember, does anybody remember many years ago, we had an unranked diamond where we started, we, the game we played, um, we played Aatrox from memory and the exact same thing happened. It was, it was old Aatrox as well. It wasn't reworked Aatrox that we got wrecked, I think by a Riven in lane phase. And then I ended up getting very fed that game. Can the same happen? Oh god. That was weird. Do I look like a patient man? <laughs> Did I even get that slow? I don't even know if I actually officially got it. Do you think they're doing Baron? <laughs> Renekton and Master Yi. I have an inkling that they might be able to. Or they, they might be doing it. I'm gonna go. Oh, no. Maybe not. Oh, hello. Jesus Christ, man. His Master Yi has wanted my booty. There you go. Bane did not need a heal. But again, just, I know it's, you know, I technically flashed to survive, but flashing and surviving a Master Yi play is pretty good. We could actually maybe look to do Baron, by the way. Our Baron take is incredibly fast. Especially when Nocturne actually gets on here. Vayne, Nocturne, Gangplank, Senna. Yeah, look, it's dead. I wouldn't have gone on the... Tr oh! Uh, I was going to say that I wouldn't have gone on the Triss, but it's actually worked. Nice. Because, like, she could always jump away, you know? I got a kill! Hog! <laughs> so I think Marcy might be above us, if I had to guess. I would guess he's in here. I oh, don't know. He was in there. All right, we just hit level 16, which is also pretty big. That is pretty big. So yeah, we are KDA-wise not looking pretty, but we're actually very strong. I wonder if I can sneak in this bush. Jesus Christ! He does so much damage! He did 2.1k damage to me instantly! <laughs> Woo wee! I know I'm squishy, so like, you know, I could be tankier, but holy mo- <laughs> ah. Oh, that was faster than 1.3. That's like the fight duration. That, that that fight duration starts with me doing my damage first. His actual damage, I think, was less than half a second. Like that. Oh, yeah. That was crazy. You blinked and I was dead? Yeah. That's just nuts. All right. Hey, TTS, made your first HelloFresh meal last night. A North Indian cauliflower and lentil dal. Nice. Yeah, we are actually technically this month sponsored by HelloFresh. Nice. Yeah. Just helping clear the wave up there. So they like, I don't know why Tristan is there, to be honest. Why is Marcy going for that? He should be fine. God, he still got one. Kill. 
Where's my team? I know Fizz doesn't have ult. Oh, I mistimed! Oh, my he had ult again. <laughs> I've not played this game very well. <laughs> Wait, Malphite died? Oh, that's bad. Malphite died with ult up. Oh, no. Uh, guys? That's not good. That was a weird play by the enemy as well. Hmm. I still cannot believe I missed time my E. I just don't play Gangplank anymore. Alright. So I nearly broke that. We've broken that, but they've got an inhib. Ugh. Should still be fine. Uh, I don't actually know TTS if it's counted. Um... Do, 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 do. Um, still only says one. I'll give him a message. Right. Um, we just need to do a uh, play. Oh, God. I understand Nocturne's doing this because he's a relatively free kill, but like using a big... When you're fed as Nocturne to use a big ulti like that to just kill a support Amumu. Okay, I, I know I'm kind of adding to the problem because I just use my big ultimate to kill a support Amumu. But, like, it would have been very sad if he survived. Malphite just missed his ult. I got you this time, sucker! Oh, my damage. Hello there. I was not letting that Master E live. I'm going to be honest, the Master E... Honestly, probably should have just focused on auto-attacking me, and he might have had a better chance. Okay, worth. Vayne was not involved in this, by the way. We just got an ace. Oof. We're not... I think... Oh, dude, I wish Vayne just stayed top lane then. We could have got, like, three... Th their whole base open. We weren't going to end. Right. Yes, I don't know. Have I touched upon the summer name for this season's Unranked to Diamond? Uh, basically, last month, whoever was the most generous in the community got to help me name the account, and that was Nessie, please. And Nessie, which is wrong... Um, thinks waffles are better than pancakes. Um, so that is why the account is called Yes to Waffles. Mm -hmm. Alright, second. I've been quite slow with my Silver Serpents this game. Yeah, let me know. What do you guys think? Are, are pancakes better than waffles? Which is clearly the truth. Like Senna. Dude. Boom! 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 Yeah, we have late game gangplank now. <laughs> Here comes the boom. See, this game was a bit annoying. Um, just getting camped so much in lane phase, but it's like I've said a few times. I'd rather me be camped than my team because I have more confidence that I'll be fine. Well, there we go. First game of Unranked to Diamond. Absolute fiesta. GG's. Annoying one. <laughs> I'll give it that. Jesus. Masty right clicking me. Even their bot lane roamed quite a lot. So that was, I honestly, for like a low gold silverish game, I don't know, like we'll play the next game and maybe it won't be that. Maybe this game was an outlier. I don't know. But the amount of roaming that happened did surprise me. I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm going to give it to the Nocturne. I think he played good. And there we go. So first game on 
Uh, we are bronze three. So obviously in placements, you get your minimum rank in placements after game ones. We are minimum bronze three. So that's where we're officially starting. And obviously because we won the game, Gangplank survives another day. Gangplank is not dead. Um, so there we go. We go 10, 11, 15. We do the most damage in the game. We actually do over double the damage of the Fizz. So this is where sometimes like even earlier into the game, by the way, we were doing actually quite well. Just KDA wise, it looks bad, but that's just how much we were being camped. Um, I was doing a lot. Of, well, arguably why I was being camped a lot. One, I'm a melee champion that is easy to gank, but we were pressuring this fizz a lot. You know, I think, you know, if I had to guess, I bet he probably would have been pinging me a bit to be like, come gank this gangplank. I can't deal with him. And that's why we had a master E and then also the enemy bot lane come to mid quite a lot. But, you know, try to keep it cool as much. Know that you scale. This is kind of part of my argument of why playing a scaling champion is better than an early game champion. If I was playing Renekton mid in this example, I'd be way more panicked because I know I don't scale nearly as well as something like a Gangplank. I'm playing Gangplank. I'm a hyper carry late game scaling champion. So you can kind of relax even if you don't have the best early game. But there we go. That is the start to Unranked to Diamond this year. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Hopefully... You know, even this was a bit of a fiesta episode because I was explaining everything and I probably didn't even explain everything well. Um, it'll only get more educational because we're actually going to be focusing on what am I doing? Why am I doing it? How am I doing it? And yeah, try, try to help you guys get the understanding like I used to do many years ago. Anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoy episode one of Unranked Diamond, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime.